Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will continue with Salesforce developer interview question and answer series. Today, we will discuss part 13 video where I will be discussing schedule Apex. Okay. So, so far we have uh, discussed uh, feature methods and batch Apex in the previous videos. And after schedule Apex, we will discuss the last type of asynchronous Apex that is queable Apex. Okay. Uh, which will complete the complete series. If you have not watched the previous videos of this series, then I strongly recommend you to watch those first. So let's get started. Asynchronous Apex. Okay. In this, we will be discussing schedule Apex. So the very first question here is, uh, what is schedule Apex? Okay. So schedule Apex is uh, all about running or invoking Apex class, which will run at a specific time. Okay. So let's suppose you want to run uh, some logic every night, maybe at 12 a.m. Okay. Which will update status uh, of an opportunity, let's suppose. Okay. Let's suppose, for example, you want to uh, query all the opportunities which are not closed. And then if it is open without any activity for more than 90 days then you know you want to close it and you want to do it every night right so in this kind of scenario you will go for schedule apex so what is the advantage of schedule apex is uh, uh, the you don't have to have user interaction the system will automatically run that logic every night uh, 12 a.m let's suppose it could be anything okay so normally uh, the batches are scheduled or the jobs are scheduled after the business hours okay so th that is the reason we use schedule apex okay to schedule an apex class we need to implement a schedulable interface okay so when should we use schedule apex uh, i have given one example already but here are the few examples uh, schedule apex use case okay to update the records of an object periodically okay Example, update an opportunity status to close lost if it is not updated in the last 90 days, right? And uh, to sync the external system every night. Example, run a scheduled job every night to sync the data from the Salesforce to an external system every night. So this is also one of the scenario where we can use schedule Apex, okay? And uh, one one of update to the records after data migration. Okay, example after data migration from other systems, we can run a scheduled job one off to update the records based on some logic. Logic. Okay. So normally, what happens, right? Schedule Apex uh, uh, could be uh, could could be periodically, right? Like I said, you know, we can run every night. It could be weekly as well or monthly or whatever we schedule, okay? But sometimes what happens right in the projects where we are uh, um, implementing a new project where we are implementing Salesforce for the first time, right? What does that mean that, you know, the customer is already using some, some system in the past, okay? And um, when, when we go live, we first migrate the old data, okay? And then... Uh, what we have to do after uh, the old data is migrated, we we want to tweak some data uh, based on some logic, okay, so that it is compatible with the you know new Salesforce system, okay, and that could be anything. So we we could also you know write a batch Apex so it runs uh, just one off, okay, and then it never runs, okay, because we need it to be uh, running every. Uh, we don't want it to run every, every now and then. I mean, we don't want it to run periodically. We just want to run one off. So in, in those scenarios as well, you can use the schedule Apex, okay? And many more. We can have many more uh, such examples uh, to use schedule Apex, right? Uh, which interface should be implemented for schedule Apex, right? I think we have seen about the interface in the past as well for the batch Apex. And now we want to understand like, you know, like what will be the interface we'll be implementing for schedule Apex in a class. So to schedule an Apex class, it should be implemented Salesforce provided interface schedule level. There is an interface provided by Salesforce called schedule level. So that is, that has to be used uh, if you want to schedule that class. Otherwise, you know, when you try to search a class for scheduling, 
this will won't appear because we have not implemented schedulable interface right uh, next question is is there any mandatory methods that must be implemented if you remember we have discussed patch apex and there are three methods which are mandatory to be implemented so likewise we have similar thing like a mandatory method which needs to be implemented for uh, schedule apex as well so what is that method so execute method must be implemented for schedule apex and the execute method must be declared as global or public right so like this one like we have de declared the class global class schedule merge okay implements schedulable this is the interface we are implementing okay and then global void execute method this is the method we will be implementing and then uh, schedulable context we'll discuss about the schedulable context uh, uh, in the future but I think this is very much similar to the syntax of what we have learned in the batch apex as well in the batch we we would I think we have a batchable context right and then um, whatever logic you want to perform will come into the class right the next question is uh, what is schedulable context right so it is a parameter for the execute method of a class that implements a schedulable interface right so this is one of the parameter uh, which implements the schedulable in interface okay so when we implement schedulable interface interface we will be able to use this schedulable context okay schedulable context contains the schedule job id uh, which can be retrieved using the get triggered uh, get trigger method id okay uh, we can use the get triggered id to track the progress of the schedulable job through a query on the cron trigger we'll learn about cron trigger uh, in a moment but uh, when we implement the schedulable context we will get some features which we can use to you know get the details of the uh, of the schedulable job right uh, we can also monitor it from the setup uh, schedule jobs okay either we can use get trigger id and uh, and query it we'll see the query as well uh, but if you want to monitor this schedule uh, schedule job then we can go to uh, setup and then we can go to schedule jobs and see you know what is the status uh, of the job okay what is cron trigger okay so we in the previous slide we have seen that cron trigger but what the, what exactly is the cron trigger so cron trigger is an object okay basically that sales for system object when we schedule an apex class a cron trigger record is created that represents the schedule job okay as soon as we create the um, schedule level uh, apex then uh, a record is created in the cron trigger okay we can query the cron trigger object to op uh, to obtain more information about the job like the number of times the job has run and the date and time when the job is scheduled to to run again okay so how, how many times it has run in the past and how many times it will be running in the future and what is the schedule date and all those things can be retrieved uh, using the cron trigger object okay so this is how we can get cron trigger ct is equals to select uh, times triggered comma next fire time uh, from cron trigger where id is equals to the job id okay how can we schedule the apex class is the next question okay uh there are many ways so there are two ways to schedule an apex class so using developer console we can uh, write the following code in an anonymous window and run it to schedule it okay so what we'll write we'll go to the anonymous window we'll write my schedule class this class name could be anything whatever you have written as a schedule class sc is equals to new my schedule class okay then string cron expression cron underscore expression is equals to 10 38 15 6 question mark and then semicolon okay so string uh we'll see what this 10 30 8 15 and 6 in a minute but uh, to complete this string job id is equal to system dot schedulable my schedule job comma cron expression so this expression will be taken to the parameters and then sc the class name uh, class uh, instance will be uh, provided as a one of the parameters okay uh here are uh the values which represents the, the numbers which represents for the cron trigger so 10 represents the uh seconds 10 represents the second so on uh, with 10 seconds and 30 represents the minutes 30 minutes and 8 represents the hour of the day so uh, 8 hour 30 minutes 10 seconds we have to run this cron trigger okay we have few more things 
like 15 represents 15th day of the month okay so here 15 represents the 15th day of the month and 6 represent month of the year okay so what is this six months of the year it's shown okay so if we if we now read this uh, uh, together it will be june 15th and eighth hour of the day uh, 30 minutes and 10 seconds this job will run okay so that's how this is represented and question marks specifies no specific value so this option this option is only available for the day of the month and day of the week it is typically used when specifying a value for one and not the other okay so we if you want to specify uh for the day of the month and uh, then we can use this uh some value over here otherwise it it could be a question mark uh second way we can schedule the apex job is from the ui from the ui as well we can schedule okay so go to the setup search the apex in a quick find box and then select the apex class and then go uh, like likewise what i've mentioned setup and then apex classes and then we'll see a schedulable apex button we can set up the time from there okay so this is how when you go um, in the setup and search the apex then you will see the apex classes the list of classes and then you click on the schedule apex button okay so you will get uh, the options to schedule the uh, schedule the class okay you cannot schedule all the classes because uh, as i mentioned earlier any class which is having schedulable apex interface will be populated there okay the rest of the classes will not be there what is cron expression okay so we have learned in the past to you know to run to schedule a job we have to write a cron expression so what exactly is this cron expression so cron expression is called as cron expression cor and underscore x is called as cron expression and it is used to define the scheduling times it has seven parameters including one optional uh, year parameter okay there is one optional year parameter we can provide that but otherwise it is having seven parameters okay any expression is written in the form of seconds minutes hours day of the month day of the week and optional year we have already seen this okay so can you explain or elaborate all the special characters used in the cron expression look this uh, you don't have to by heart or remember everything um, it might not be very uh, crucial to remember any and interview doesn't interviewer doesn't mind if you don't give the exact answer but uh, it is very good to know i mean if you were able to answer this that's really well and good otherwise don't uh, don't worry you can say that I don't remember on top of my head at the moment, but uh, but I can I can set up a schedule the cron jobs. Okay, so there are many characters, special characters. You can you can this is self-explanatory. Like this, we have uh, delimits. Okay, uh, you know for example uh, to use Jan comma March, Jan comma Feb comma April comma May comma June. Right? If you want to use the series, then we can use comma to specify more than one month. And then hyphen uh, to specify the ranges like January to March, and then star specify all values. Uh, for example, if the month is specified as star, the job will schedule for every month. Okay, you don't have to give uh, January, February, uh, uh, March, or January to December. You can simply give the uh, star as well. Question mark specifies no specific value. This option is only available for day of the month and day of the year. It typically uses when specifying a value for one and not the other. Okay and uh, slash uh, specifies increments uh, the number of um, the number before the slash specifies when the interval will begin and the number after the slash is uh, is the interval amount for example if you specify one by five uh, for day of the month the apex class run every fifth day of the month starting on the first of the month okay this is how it represents but don't worry uh, you don't have to buy hard if you could buy hard that is well and good uh, but uh, yeah and we have few more as well l represents uh, uh, the uh, specify the end of the range last okay this option is only available for the day of the month and day of the week when used with day of the month l always means that the last day of the month okay so such as january 31st february 29th okay so this is self-explanatory you can go through this and W represents uh, specifically the nearest to weekday. Okay, 
Monday to Friday of the given day. So this option is only available for the day of the month. Okay. For example, if you specify 20 W, then the 20th of Saturday. Uh, uh, the, the class runs on the 19th. If you specify 1 W and the first is the Saturday, the class doesn't run on the previous month, but on the third, which is the following Monday. Okay. You can do the calculations and, uh, you know, um, maybe write some examples and see how it works. Cool. So last one is the hash. It specifies the nth day of the month. Okay. This is also again self-explanatory. We can write weekday um, hyphen day of the month. Then it uh, it represents something uh, like that. Specify two hyphen one means the class runs on the first Monday of uh, every month. Okay. So this is how uh, special characters are used in the cron expression. Can you explain or elaborate all the values used in the cron expression? Again. Uh, those are the characters which we have discussed just now and these are the values, okay? How the values can be used in the cron expression. Mm, again, I'm saying that you don't have to remember everything, uh, you know, when you are on work. Because this is scheduled job is not something which you do on a daily basis. So no one is expect expecting you to remember, but uh, the interviewer expects you to know how you write uh, the cron expression, okay? But on when, when you're on job, you can... You can quickly Google search the documents uh, from, from Salesforce and try to find out the proper uh, syntax to run the cron job and then you can run the job. Okay, no worry in that. So these are the values we use for seconds. We can use from 0 to 59 and minutes we can use uh, uh, 0 to 59 as well. Hours 0 to 23. Uh, we can also use uh, special characters for hours and day of the month uh, 1 to 31 and again we can use the special characters for the day of the month as well okay there are a few more like months for months we can use this 1 to 12 or we can use january february to december we can also use some special character as well or day of the week again we can use these values and we can use the special characters and optional years null or whatever years you can use as well as you can use the special characters as well okay so this is how cron expression is written this is really important um, and uh, uh, you know if you are able to explain um, you know not not to the hundred percent but if you could explain that you know how cron expression is works uh, how many parameters it have and you know what are the different characters we can use how many different values we can use uh, for each of the parameters if you could explain them then you know an interviewer will be really happy okay so again, uh, to for, for this uh, video, I have referenced help.salesforce.com as well as trailhead.salesforce.com to get you the uh, latest, uh, uh, latest information, okay? You can refer this as well. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you prepare for your Salesforce developer interview and crack your next job. If you have any questions which you want me to include in my videos, please post it in the comments below. And if you would like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to my channel uh, right now. Uh, that way you don't miss the Salesforce interview question and answer videos like this 